obviously worth waiting for let your friends help you i feel to me this card is always about our guides or um working with the um with the universe right um with the rhythm of creation manifestation and i feel this person like feels this one day energy religious factors they're undergoing a spiritual maybe they are going through a spiritual awakening something's coming to like clarity you this could have been a very spiritual connection you guys probably had a profound which is why they can't shake you and so this is a triggering energy in their life when i see religious factors in my reading usually does indicate um the death card scorpio energy where they're going through a transformation and also like judgment um temperance or even uh, all in associate the tower so something something major is internally happening with this person here we have free yourself it's time to take back control of your life you know you you walking away they see that you're doing well for yourself right and i feel this is one them wanting to be a part of your life you know you made the right decision in terms of walking away you're just obviously prioritizing you um but i do feel also this is their hope to one be free again to be able to come towards you it feels like a very complicated situation here it's very in the this energy for some of you you're still in connection with this person and this is just a person who they have already have kids with and it's just um things aren't settled with this with this um X. So prosperity begins. There's a desire for this new beginning. Material harvest, nine of pentacles. Nine of pentacles and ace of pentacles is the ten of pentacles. So they know what they want, right? When they're by themselves, the nine is the hermit. The hermit is when we gain wisdom, right? But minor arcanas are all the nines, right? And so this magician energy with the manifestation which is what i'm saying this is what they're they're seeing a future so they're hopeful for this stability in the future um base chakra more um more uh pentacles energy earthly energy here root energy so there's definitely a change that's happening internally with this person and emotional loss because they do they feel like you're a loss and five indicates change we have conflict and defeat and the devil so this person definitely is missing you with the lovers you know they are really really thinking about you you're very much in their mind space with the devil energy um and i think this person's trying to make plans here they're trying to do the right thing but also our our really working towards making something happen for them and it's going to happen physically like it's going to happen in the earthly planes okay we're on this prosperity begins why the ace of pentacles yeah eight of pentacles lots of strong energy earth energy king of pentacles wow knight of pentacles so like i said something's happening this person i what i need oh i'm like i need some wands energy six of wands wands energy would mean that action will happen although this person is definitely planning um to me this is a lot of planning so they're working out things maybe for them it's finances so for for some of those who it's really just finances and this kind of was the complicated situation um between the you and your person and probably what caused the friction for some of you but this person has to obviously stabilize a lot of things in their life i feel with because the king of pentacles showed up it's because they're trying to do the right thing um yeah all right sorry game it's nine of pentacles nine of pentacles So many nines so we have the five of swords with the nine of cups and then of course like i said the ten of pentacles again the one and the nine equaling the ten they know what they want they know what their wish fulfillment is definitely you they have to resolve 
right? This is in this deck and another deck, this, the Five of Swords is like the win or lose. And so there's a lot of conflict, right? We have the Five of Swords here. They will feel defeated. It's something they have to go through. It's change. Again, five is change, indicating change. But I think they're focused. They're more, they're um, very focused on right now. Um, in the sense that this is where, this is as much as they can do right now. Their energy is here. Um, because anything else will probably stress this person out. Um, it's really difficult. And maybe I don't think they want to ruin any more the connection that they had with you. Or they're just, really, like I said, really trying to do the right thing. I They probably don't have the best way of going about things. Which is why it's so complicated. Maybe this person kind of overcomplicates things when they don't need to be complicated. Maybe they're an overthinker. Give me more of this base chakra. But yeah, their root. This this is a lot about stability and you know the earthly plane. Give me more of their space chakra. And six of pentacles. Yeah. So emotionally, I feel like they're emotionally drained. And this is six of pentacles. So who they're giving to. Again, I feel they have a connection or a past energy that this person has to resolve. And um, pentacles, again, it's, it's an interference. Um, let's see what the six of pentacles here. I want the six of pentacles. Wow, Ten of Pentacles. Uh, so much about the finances, Four of Swords and Nine of Swords, right? Very stressful, very stressful, very, very stressful. There's no way around this. It, they just have to get through this hump, this change, this resol resolution, this agreement, this divorce, whatever it is. But I, it's a ten. There's lots of ten, so that means cycles... This is a part of the cycle for change. Um, then the Knight of Cups wants to come out. I'm going to put it back. But I feel this person, in order for them to give you this, to be able to emotionally invest in you, they need to clear this out. And I feel this emotional loss. They want to talk. They want to communicate. Give me more of this emotional loss. They really miss the connection with you. Give me more of this emotional loss. Two of Pentacles, oh wow, Seven of Cups, and the Star. They're not in this, they're not in the space. Like I said, this religious factor, it's a lot. It's a lot. This person's really going through it. They're not in a space to really make a decision. There's too much going on. Um, this could come across as juggling energy, but I don't feel like this. The juggling in this, in the fact that, again, they don't. They, this is a person who probably doesn't know how to handle the situation in a way where it's, you know, they're, I'm literally hearing they're doing the best they can with what they know. Um, I, I know there's probably different ways to handle the situation, but this person really, um, I think this is a lesson for them with the star for them to really um, find who they are, to really elevate themselves. I'm going to clarify the star. Yeah. To learn this cycle, to close the cycle, to not repeat the cycle. Give me more of the star. It's, it's it, oh my God, that queen of swords. Yeah. So basically to, to, to not let life happen in happenstance. The queen of swords is a single, right? Single widower, queen or king of swords. Um, but they go through a lot. And so this is a lesson. And I think this person is really going to come out very different and more firm about life um, after this and really like be more assertive. Um, maybe they were in, in the past and this is why they're in the situation that they're in. There's a lot that's happening and it's a lot that they're learning along the way as well. So let's see what the blockages are. We kind of already know, but let's see what other blockages and triggers here. 
Yeah. So again, stop uh, like aware, stop sweeping it under the rug. And again, awareness, bring awareness to others. So this is a lot about this person living in happenstance. I feel like this is the per kind of person who kind of just ignored things as they were sweeping it under the rug and things got bigger than they needed to get. Again, like I said, they're trying to do the right thing. They're just not, maybe not the brightest <laughs> in resolving it. But this isn't easy. Um, and this, but to me, this is a lesson. This is a lot of awareness your person is gaining. Let's see if there's anything. What does this person want Leo to know? What does this person want Leo to know? Oof. So, clingy. Feel trapped, pushing me uh Feeling trapped pushes me away. Please give me some space. So maybe too much in their ears, um, clinging energy, maybe their person, this situation they're dealing with is clingy. So they don't want to, again, I feel like they feel trapped and again, they don't know. So this is probably a person who doesn't have a voice because when you get into Queen of Swords energy, if this evolution here, if this soul transition, this lesson is to bring them to have a, 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 a voice and like to just speak for what it is. Like if they feel trapped and they need to say this is how they feel instead of running away. And this is awareness here. Stop sweeping it under the rug. It's an avoidant personality. And this is how they got into this mess to begin with, right? Memory, I miss you. And they do. Real, um, you know, time. Yeah, I know the clock is ticking for us. Won't you wait for me? So you're very much in their mind and uh, you know they know that time i think they know what they want they know that they see their value it's like a they know that once they clear this um you know you haven't left their mind in this very moment this is what they're communicating um yeah prayer so your angels and spirit guides a lot about guidance here so i think for both of you um, there's definitely a transition here and choices, right? So prayers, your angels and spirit guides have seen your struggles and are urging you to pray for guidance. The divine can only guide you when you specifically ask for help, ask and you shall receive. So, you know, um, I think you both are still thinking about each other here. Choices, the crossroad you are on is urging you to make a choice. Don't doubt yourself and choose with love and from your heart, then you never go wrong. You know, and there's a lot about choices here, a lot about needing to make decisions. So what else is the guidance here? And just like you have a choice here, whether you, you know, are open to this person still, willing to look at this from a different perspective, you know, is this worth waiting for you as well? Or should you free yourself and, you know, just continue to do you? You know, like there's a lot in your mind about processing it as well. And, and it's fear and intuition. There you go, Leos. Listen to your intuition as it is your soul calling out to you. So definitely listen to your intuition. You guys know when when is when, when is time to let go, when is time to speak, when you're willing to hear them out, if you're not or if you are. Um, but definitely... Listen to your intuition here and big decisions for the both of you. So I'm going to leave it there. Leo, please like, share, subscribe.